Hello and welcome back everyone. So today in this lecture, we will be talking about the desirable properties that a local anesthetic should ideally have in order to be used in clinical situations. So anesthesia is generally described as the loss of sensation in a person's body. Now the loss of sensation can be the sense of pain, pressure, sight or something else. Of the particular interest is the loss of pain sensation and because of this property along with other various benefits, anesthesia enables us to perform various procedures that are otherwise painful to the patient. Now there are two main types of anesthesia, the local anesthesia and the general anesthesia. So the local anesthesia is basically defined as the loss of sensation in a circumscribed area of the body without producing the loss of consciousness while the general anesthesia produces the loss of sensation and also the loss of consciousness. Now the agents that produce the effect of local anesthesia are known as the local anesthetics while those that produce the effect of general anesthesia are known as general anesthetics. But in this video we will be discussing about the desirable qualities of an ideal local anesthetic agent. So first of all the local anesthetic should not be irritating to the tissues and it should not cause any permanent alteration to the nerve meaning its effects should be completely reversible. Now most of local anesthetics that are in use nowadays have both of these properties that is that they are usually non irritating to the tissues and also are completely 100% reversible. The next point states that the agent must have a low systemic toxicity. The reason why systemic toxicity is so important is because once the anesthesia is injected into a specific site, it will eventually get absorbed from that site and end up in the bloodstream, which is of course the part of the cardiovascular system. So that is the reason why potential toxicity is an important factor when making a selection of a local anesthetic agent or its solution. A local anesthetic must also be effective whether it is injected into the tissue or applied topically onto a mucous membrane. Although this property is desirable in a local anesthetic, most agents do not meet this criteria of being effective on both the occasions. Like for example, many potent injectable local anesthetic like Procaine have proven to be rather ineffective when applied topically. To be effective on topical application, these drugs need to be applied in concentrations that are not only irritating to the tissues but also end up increasing the systemic toxicity of the drug because of the increased amount of doses being applied. On the other hand, drugs like Daclonine which is a potent topical anesthetic cannot be injected because it has tissue irritating properties. While some drugs like Tetracaine and Lidocaine can be used as effective local anesthetics in both topical as well as in injectable forms in acceptable concentrations. The local anesthetic must have a short time of onset meaning the effect of local anesthesia should start as soon as possible after being injected or after being applied. Similarly the duration of effect must be long enough to permit the completion of the procedures but at the same time not so long as to require an overly extended time to recover. Now both of these factors are met very well by most of the local anesthetic solution in use nowadays. However, the clinical duration of action may vary depending on many factors like the preparation of the drug, type of injection and so on. Apart from these six properties, there are four additional properties that were discussed by Bennett that are the local anesthetic must have potency sufficient enough to provide anesthesia without using the harmful concentrated solutions. It should be free from inducing allergic reactions. It should be stable while in the solution form and should also undergo biotransformation in the body. And lastly, it should be sterilized or being capable of getting sterilized by heat without undergoing deterioration. So these were the basic desirable qualities of an ideal local anesthetic. Now there is not even a single local anesthetic agent in use nowadays that meets all of these desirable qualities. However, most of the local anesthetic being used today do meet most of the properties discussed above. But the research is still underway on making an ideal perfect local anesthetic solution. And maybe in the future we might even have one anesthetic carrying all of the desirable properties that are discussed above. So this was just a brief video on desirable properties of an ideal local anesthetic. 
सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज स्टे सेफ टेक केयर एंड गुड बाय